I'm Greg Nibbler, and this is DT Daily. Kicking off this week's tech news, Steve Ballmer may have been forced to retire early. Apple's iPhone 5S gets a major speed boost from a new processor, and Google is developing its own self-driving cars with plans for a robo-taxi service. Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer shocked the tech world on Friday by announcing that he would retire from the company within the next year. But new reports indicate that Ballmer's retirement may not have been the planned transition he made it out to be. According to All Things D, Microsoft's board of directors, which includes co-founder Bill Gates, forced Ballmer out. Sources say that Gates was not behind the push for Ballmer to leave early, but did not protest against others on the board who thought Ballmer's departure would be good for the company. Overall, Microsoft has lost over half of its book value, around $330 billion since Ballmer took over as CEO in 1999. Microsoft's board is expected to choose Ballmer's replacement sometime soon. It's no surprise that each new iPhone gets faster, but now we might know just how much faster the rumored iPhone 5S will be. Fox News anchor Clayton Morris tweeted on Sunday that the iPhone 5S will pack an A7 processor, which gives the next iPhone a 31% speed boost. Apple-centric blog 9to5Mac followed up with a report that the A7 processor would be 64-bit, a first for the iPhone. It would be able to handle more memory and give animations and other graphical features in iOS 7 a much smoother look. The next generation iPad is also rumored to carry the A7 processor. In addition to the speedy A7 processor, the iPhone 5S is also expected to come in an all new champagne color and sport 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Apple will reportedly unveil the latest additions to the iPhone line on September 10th. Google may be getting into the car business, self-driving cars that is. The Wall Street Journal reports that Google is quietly developing its own self-driving car. So far, the company's autonomous vehicle project has outfitted cars from other automakers with self-driving technology. But Google insiders say the negotiations with car manufacturers to make fully autonomous cars have stalled, forcing the company to develop its own vehicles. Taking the project even further, Google is also said to have plans for a fleet of so-called robo-taxis, which would be made up of the company's self-driving cars. If the thought of being driven around by a computerized vehicle gives you chills, fear not, Google will reportedly have a human driver in the robo-taxis as well, just in case, which I guess just frees up the taxi driver for a lot more awkward conversations. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.